Hey, Shalom. Before we get started, we'd like to give all praises and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaf, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule and teach well, and peace and safety to the Akim that spread across the four corners of the world, that's pushing out this truth with all diligence and putting their lives on the line to do so. We're the brothers out of GMS Atlanta, and uh, here with the Godspeed, going into the topic of uh, don't let the hate up on your enemies. You know, because the scriptures say the uh, eye for eye, tooth for a tooth, man. You know, so the same things, you know, that um, you know that these heathen nations have done to, to Israelites, the same thing uh, and, and more is going to happen to you. You know, because the scriptures uh, speak about that double cup, man. Exactly. You know, that double, uh, uh, that double destruction, man. You know, so it's, hey, don't let up the hate on your enemies, man. You know, that should, you know, be a, ultimately a... Uh, um, to give you a kind of like a push into in the truth, man. Right. You know, hey, right. what, what uh, uh, Tupac say, the uh, sweetie, uh, uh, joy. That's a, what I, I can't even quote it, but you know, how I, <laughs> but uh, what, we're talking about uh, the sweetest, sweeter berry, the nah, black of the berry, sweeter juice, uh, sweetest thing next to oh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I can tell, but yeah. this uh, Psalms chapter 119, verse 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. And and we're not just speaking this out of our mouth, man. Right. You know, out of some, you know, vain, you know, uh, type of revenge that we want from some some individual who we don't know, man. Through the precepts we get the understanding of what Esau and these heathens had as in captivity, you know, slave uh, uh, transatlantic slave trade, yeah. you know, uh, Ham had us in, in captivity, Moab, yeah. Elam. You know, all of them had us in, in captivity, man. You know, so hey, we want the same thing for you, man. You know, we, you, we, you, you, uh, you know, beat down our, 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 the men of Israel, you know, with the women and the kids. You know, to where the men don't even get to see their kids like that. You know, the women is joined hand to hand with Esau. You know, so we want to see the revenge and not hate. Just build it up each and every day towards you. Yeah. And, it, and it's righteous anger, man, because the Lord got righteous indignation. You know, that's, that's the Lord's anger for these other nations, man. He, he has a chosen people for a reason. It's the that's Israelites, right. man. The black, Spanish, and Native Americans that are scattered across the four corners of the earth, man. That's right. All right. I got, uh, this is Psalms 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Yeah, we we, we get that glory is coming, man. That's going to come through you. How about me outside the heavenly Father's only begotten Son? Right. For the Israelites, man, we're going to have revenge over these heathens, man. Verse six: Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Yes, yeah, so that hey, that's that's nothing like, man. We're going to rule in the kingdom with, the, uh, with, the, with that rod of iron, man, upon these heathens. These heathens are going into slavery, man. That's you right. know, the scriptures also speak about never trust thy enemy. So it's, it's righteous anger for us not to like these damn Edomites because they're ruling over us, man. That's they're right. not upright people. We're supposed to be in rulership. Yep. But we turn our back on the Heavenly Father, which is why he got us in this predicament right now. But he's going to he's gonna bring us up out of that, man. That's why, we, that's why, he, that's why we're able to rejoice right now. Because yep. deliverance is coming, man. Yep. And we're going to have revenge on you damn heathens, bro. Yep. And it's going to be forever, man. You know? And if I can add to your point, it's, it's, like you were saying, man, it's righteous uh, 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 hate, man. Yep. You know? Like, because we were speaking before, you know, we cut the camera on. How, uh, you know, a lot of Jake, especially the older Jake, are in that old lion spirit, man. You know, just chilling on the uh, on the lazy boy, man. Right. You know? I'm going to just go vote. That should do it. Yeah. And hey, we got we to gotta vote, man. We got to go vote. You know, it, it don't even sound, uh, you know, enthusiastic. Like, yeah. enthusiastic. You know, you, you know, it's, you know? Bro, this, 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 is about, this is way deeper than voting, man. Mm -hmm. this, this is about to get, it is about to be divine intervention, man. From your how about Shmiel shot? Damn vote, man. That shit is sweet and soft, man. That's right. You know? You got more on that. It's, I'll finish it off. This is Psalms 149, verse 8. I mean, verse 9. To execute them, the judgment written. Mm -hmm. the, the honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, this thing is written. It's not about sales, not what we want to do. Oh, it's the, oh, you just mad because you, you know what I'm saying? He, he did this and that to your family. No, man. This is straight. It's written. This judgment is written in the scriptures, man. Yes. Predestined to happen. We just right. waiting for it to come to fruition, man. Right. God, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 9. It says, For the ungodly 
and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto the Most High. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. You know? So who who uh, is enforcing all of this wickedness and evil in the society, man? The heathens, man. You know? It says, verse 11, Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. You know? So but why? Because they, 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 these idols force our people, the Israelites, yeah. into worshiping them, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Since way back in, um, with Moses, man, when, when uh, Israel uh, was um, worshiping the golden calf. Yeah. You know? You had uh, 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 Jake worshiping uh, Dagon, a Hamite uh, idol. You know? And, and, and in today's society, man, we oh, yeah. worship. Uh, all these holidays, yeah, man. Yeah, all these holidays. January, and, Janice, you know, yeah. they got a, April Fool's, mm -hmm. you know, Nimrod with Christmas. They got yeah. they, they got they got us in a trick bag right yeah. now, man. Got us deceived because we're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And and then yeah. and then when we tell them who their true power is, oh, they, they, they buck up at us. Yeah, that's right. why that's why they, it continues to build the hate up. Yeah, exactly. Because we're trying to lead you in the, in the, in the right direction, but you disregard and join hands and hands with our enemy. Exactly, because Galatians 4, 16 speaks about if, uh, am I your enemy, therefore I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, we just come with you straight in front of what the Bible says, man. Straight out the scriptures, man. This is the truth according to the Bible. Okay. You know? Yeah, uh, some. yeah it's some more. It says, um, verse 11, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation, because in the creature of the Most High, they are becoming an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise man you know so these 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 heathens, heathens has has caused us to veer off man yeah you know yeah. has caused us to go uh, further off of, of, the, of the trail that you by show me i was shot one of this on man yeah. you know therefore you're going to receive uh, a righteous judgment yeah. which is death by pain Yep. Death by the missiles. Yep. Death by uh, famine, start yep. dying of starvation. Famine, death of, 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 of an elect member of the 144,000. Oh, men. hell yeah, that's going to be know? a terrible judgment. Because hey, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, I was shot. Hey, we're a part of that number, man. We're going to be putting stuff down too, man. Yeah. From all of the built up anger oh, of, yeah. of people beating us down in this society. You know, Satan playing on your thoughts. Yeah. You know, when the Lord comes and, 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 and uh, you know, we get that refreshment, man. We're yeah. going to be uh, revved up in the spirit, man. Yeah, right. You know? It says, uh, verse 12, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Right. And the invention of them, it, and the invention of them, the corruption of life, man. Damn, how y'all doing, brother? You know? So, hey, man, these idols play a, a, a major part in us going off, man. It says spiritual fornication, man. Yeah. You know? These idols had us worshiping fucking Christmas, man. You know, excuse me for my for our language, but you know, it, it, it makes you mad when you realize everything that they've done to us. Man. Yeah, because you've been lied to our entire life, man. So you should be mad. And you should, when, you, when you're mad, or should be oppression make a wise man mad? But look, that, that uh, meaning mad in that scripture is going into halal, meaning praise, man. God. When you realize you've been finished, you turn back to your power and praise the Heavenly Father, man. Because we God. understand it's going to, the, the revenge and that judgment is going to come through Him, not of us. We not out here getting strapped up. Oh yeah, I'm about to shoot some that Edomites down. No, yeah. it's gonna come through the heavenly Father, man. Don't yeah. get this message misconstrued, man. Cause that's what the Edomites and damn devils gonna try to do. All you damn black uh conspiracy theorists coming with this uh this hate speech. Yeah, man. It's all it's gonna be prophecy according to the Bible, man. Right. This is Zephaniah chapter three verse eight. Because it's not, it's, this this thing is not of us, man. It reads, therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord. Until the day that I rise up to the break. Yeah, the Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shah is gonna rise up on your ass, man. It's not gonna be of us, man. Alright? For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation and right. righteous anger, man. Mm -hmm. For all the earth shall so I can even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. See? It's gonna be, hey, the Lord is jealous, man, because why? That spiritual fornication, man. Yep. He's pissed off because the other nations led us off. But he gathered, he gathered us back, man. His his sincere believers, that that uh peaceable multitude, that great multitude of believers yep. across uh, all over the earth. Hey, this thing is coming downhill, man. The Lord yep. and Lord and the Lord is doing it. Not of us, man. No, it's not of us. <laughs> we got uh, we can close off of this one. It's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense. Say of the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. 
you know? So, hey, vengeance belongs to the Lord, man. And he uses men the elect, 144,000, as vessels to get his revenge, man. You know? And ultimately, yeah, I was shy, man. You know? So, uh, you had anything? You know, so, hey, that was all we had. It's like, uh, we, the topic of the lesson, man. You keep the hate for the wicked, man. You know? Keep, keep the hate inside of you for the wicked. Yeah, because our people, hey, our people don't have no hope, man. They, they lost the fight, man. You know, where no hope is, you know, you perish, man. That's right. You know, but we got hope, man. So, yeah. So, with that, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, exhorting, went all by giving all the glory and praise unto. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shine by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Hey, Shalom.